Hey guys, it's Scott with Scotty B Cards, and in this video, I want to discuss whether or not baseball cards are dead using Google Trends. So Google Trends, what this is, actually shows you how often a specific search is being Googled on Google. Plain and simple, you're able to look at these graphs and identify if things are more or less popular or trending or not trending. And I want to see if this gives us any insight into baseball cards. Baseball cards, sports cards, Pokemon cards, other TCGs like Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever you want to say, they had a peak in 2020 to 2021. And in that peak, a lot of people entered the sports card world. And then at the end of that peak, a lot of people left the sports card world. But I want to see based on off of Google Trends and what's happening with those specific searches. Are they actually dead or are we in a much better place than people realize? So here is Google Trends. You can find this by just looking up Google Trends. And if you do, you can add a specific search. So we're gonna type in baseball cards. Once I type that in, it's gonna pull up this graph. This is in the US from 2004 until the present moment. So we can do it for that or we can do it for the last five years. And that's what I wanna focus on really quickly. Very first thing you'll notice is it's pretty cyclical and regular baseball seasons you know it's cyclical in the summertime it's more popular than other parts of the year which makes perfect sense in january of 2019 baseball cards were becoming more popular than they were in the other 2010s 2013 2018 are pretty dead except for aaron judge in 2017 but overall we saw it trend up right we can see until june and then the season cools down hit the off season it slows down then we get into you know spring training right every january to every march people get excited then we actually saw in 2020 in fact February, things were getting really hot, then they dropped off when COVID hit. And the reason it dropped off is because people were really worried. We were worried that this was going to be a big deal. And overall, after that, it spiked up higher than it had been in a very long time in August of 2020. Then we actually are going to see it drop again before it spikes and hits 100 on zero to 100 scale. What this means is this is the most searched week of baseball cards on Google Trends up to that point within this time frame. So if it's at 50%, like right here says 50 and this says 100. That means the search volume is 50% of like what the top week was, which again was this week, February 21st of 2021. So we saw this happen, right? We saw the pandemic cause a boom and then we see in the off season it drops, which makes sense. And then we saw it get even hotter than it was. And if you remember in 2021, it was extremely hot. Mookie Betts cars, the guy I collect, his cards went crazy and really expensive. Oh, that's the same with a lot of other players. But then we saw at the end of that season, usually in September or so, football starts, other things happen we see a massive drop in values which makes sense into october and then we saw it climb back again heading into baseball season in the spring training and then again we see a really big drop in september october time and then we see it climb back one thing that's concerning about this five-year graph though you're noticing that these actual drops are getting more and more pronounced, right? So we saw in 2021, it's actually not that bad of a drop before it recovered. And another really big drop, it's much lower than 2021. We can see it's at 62 here versus the lowest here was 58. But then we see it not bounce back as strong as previous years. That's where it's concerning. And then actually, I recorded a video on this in December and I was going to release it, but I decided to wait to see what happened in January. And we're actually starting to see it bounce back pretty good. But we saw the lowest point on this graph, it's at 50 since basically 2020. So we're seeing the least interest, least search volume since 2020 this off season, but it's bounced back really strong. And this is 78 now, and that's almost the peak during the regular season. So we're actually seeing a peak right now versus in the season. So this is actually trending up, which I think is really good. So overall, I think we're at a point now where yes, people are leaving the baseball card world. And that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. I think the floor is significantly higher than where it was. And we can look at that right now. If we go look at 2004 until the present, we're going to see this is where it was at in like the 2015, 2013, 2014. The lowest point on this entire graph was in November of 2014 at 25%. The highest surprisingly was not during the pandemic. It was actually in like 2004. So it looks like what is this July of 2004 we had some great peaks until we had the you know the housing the great recession that crash makes sense that killed baseball cards they bounced back a little bit in 2011 2012 before dropping again and I want to attribute that to Steven Strasburg Mike Trout and Bryce Harper right here but overall in the 2010s it got pretty dead but look at where we're at now we are in a significantly better spot than we had been any time again prior to the pandemic so I think we're in a really healthy position than where historically we could have been but how about baseball cards compared to other sports let's tie in basketball cards. 
One thing I want to note is there might be some artificial baseball card boosts just because of the fact that people search baseball card shops near me. They're probably going to look for basketball cards as well. But either way, if we put basketball cards in here and compare, baseball cards has outpaced basketball in the US. We're in the US still for its entire history on Google Trends since 2004. The thing that's kind of surprising is we type football cards in. And again, this is in the US, so it's not taking soccer into consideration. We saw football almost passed baseball for the first time this year. So we actually saw it basically pass or get really close right here in November of 2023. But since then, baseball has gone up and football has gone down. That is a sign that football is separating itself from basketball and approaching baseball, if not catching baseball, which is really interesting. But overall, it really feels like basketball and football are more popular than baseball. But I think the baseball collecting group is significantly larger. The fan base is significantly larger than football and basketball have ever had and probably ever will have in my personal opinion. One thing people say, however, is, well, basketball is an international sport. So let's compare worldwide basketball, baseball, and football cards. One thing I'll note, you're going to see football cards pass baseball, but that's because it's taking football like soccer into consideration. We can see that if we go down to Germany, no one is searching American football cards in Germany, at least not very many people. And you can look at every European country. I think the UK is on here. We can go look at UK. It's like 93% football cards. I doubt it's American football. So overall, we can see basketball is still lagging behind baseball cards and football cards as a whole. So that is where we are at with sports cards. Now let's compare them to TCG. And TCG means trading card game. I just want to look at Pokemon real quick and maybe Magic the Gathering. If we type Pokemon cards in, the story that it tells is really interesting. We're going to go back to the US real quick. We are going to see a very similar line compared to baseball cards all the way up until Pokemon Go was released in summer of 2016. Then we saw Pokemon cards get a huge wave of searches before it dropped back down to baseball card norms until again the pandemic caused Pokemon cards to boom to a place where they are no longer really even close to baseball cards. And this is interesting just because it shows that Pokemon cards have been able to transcend a small hobby where baseball cards, they've done an okay job, but nothing like this TCG. No sports card or even approach Pokemon currently. We can even type in magic cards. I'm not going to type in Magic the Gathering as a whole search. We type in Magic cards. You can see down here it shows the average. So baseball cards is 20, Pokemon cards is 25, football cards is 7, basketball cards is 4, and Magic the Gathering is 11. So basically Magic is slightly higher than basketball cards and right around football cards as well in modern day if we go look over here. So it just goes to show that baseball cards are king and sports cards still, especially in the US, and Pokemon cards are still king worldwide as well as in the US. So let's delete these actual searches really quick. I'm going to Move them real fast and we're going to discuss baseball cards for a moment longer we actually can go look at different regions we can do all sorts of things with this data i want to go back to the last five years real quick because i think it's more accurate uh representation of where we're at and again right now we are basically sitting at 78 to 72 that's pretty good we are still close to the peak top of the pandemic and the good thing about it is we're actually bouncing back really strong this year where i think we will be even if not higher than where we were last year so while we are dropping from the top we are still in a better place than people anticipate we can see Kentucky, where I'm at, is the number one location for baseball card searches. You're welcome, world. And then if we actually scroll back, you can see I left Utah this year, and Utah is now dead last. So I don't know if that's anything in particular, but it's kind of funny. And overall, we can look at similar searches that are related to this specific search. So overall, that is what I wanted to share with you. I think it's interesting. There's a lot of negativity going on. Baseball cards are dead. I don't mean to portray that as well. I think baseball cards are in a really great spot. I think what Fanatics is doing, I want to give them my feedback on things I don't love, like sets that I don't think should exist or too high print runs, things like that. But overall, I think it's safe to say based off these numbers, while baseball cards have slowed down since their peak, they're still in a really good spot and they're trending good this off season, which I love, even though I had a sharp drop. Overall, they're in a good rebound state heading into this next baseball season. Please let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. If you think baseball cards are in a good place, a bad place, and other than that, I will see you in the next video.